we have a cortex and medulla this is the cortical part of the bone which is made up of a arrangement of osteocyte in a manner we call it a haversian system haversian system so this is the diaphysis here the shaft of a long bone which is a cortical bone you all know what is a cortical bone and it is having an arrangement which is called as the haversian system what is haversian system in the haversian system we have these canal like structures in which there are blood vessels and the nerves are present and around them we have osteocytes so we have we have these osteocytes arranged around these neurovascular spaces which are called as lamellae these are called as lamellae concentric lamellae they are encircling it so we call it concentric lamellae and circling these canals these canals are called as haversian canal i'm writing only hc that is haversian canal this arrangement one haversian canal along with all the osteocytes which are encircling it is called as one osteon this is one osteon one osteon it is the unit of the haversian system osteon is a one unit of haversian system so we have a haversian canal in which we have nerves and the blood vessels and we have all these osteocytes surrounding them and they are providing nutrition to them this is how the nutrition reaches to the last osteocyte because they have appendages we call these appendages as canaliculi and these haversian system or the haversian canal are connected to each other by another set of canal called as vokmans canal this is called as vokmans canal so you can see there are there is a haversian canal a haversian system in which we have these concentric lamellae where osteocytes are arranged in circular manner we call them concentric lamina and we have vokmans canal which are joining the two haversian systems together so this is how a cortical bone will look like now we will discuss about uh, more about this arrangement in the histology this was just for the introduction point of view now let's move on to the uh, metaphysis what you see special in metaphysis is that metaphysis they do have blood vessels which are arranged in a hairpin bent like manner so when a blood vessels enter from here from the nutrient foramen as a nutrient artery we have these ascending branches which loops in this manner these arteries are supplying the metaphysis and the main feature is the hairpin this hairpin bend which is extremely important point over here this hairpin bend is an important feature of the arteries which are present in the metaphyseal region because the bacteria could get lodged over here and can be can cause osteomyelitis and can cause osteomyelitis one of the commonest cause one of the commonest cause for osteomyelitis is the presence of this hairpin bend uh, loop like structure um, blood vessels in the metaphysis okay now moving on let's talk about epiphysis now what is there in epiphysis now there there are many questions which are asked from this epiphysis because of the types of epiphysis we need to know now guys epiphysis can be divided into four types we can we can have four types of epiphysis we have four types of epiphysis one is pressure so we have a pressure epiphysis one is pressure epiphysis traction epiphysis
at a wrist 